Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to work with compartments. I am here in the documentation page by Oracle. I will provide the link in the description. Compartment is not a physical entity, rather it's a logical entity where we can group the resources into an isolated logical environment. Like we can move our virtual cloud network in a particular compartment and compute instance in another compartment. So each and every resource must be associated with a compartment, be it a root compartment or any other compartment. By default, when you create a uh, Oracle Cloud account, will be, you will be assigned with the root compartment. For navigation, you have to click on this hamburger menu. On the identity and security, you have to go for this compartment under identity. Uh, as you can see, we have not created OCI Learning uh, 1 to 3. By, def by default, when we create an uh, OCI account or the tenancy, uh, this, will, uh, this will take the name of the uh, tenancy, that is the root compartment. OCI learning 1 to 3 is our uh, tenancy so uh, this will be our root compartment as well so uh, we can uh, create uh, the hierarchical uh, uh, components like a child component a parent and child component kind of uh, thing uh, so it can be a six level deep as you can see like a level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 level 6 OCI currently supports six level deep of creating compartments uh, we can restrict the access uh, uh, to the compartments with the help of policies which we had learned in our previous video I will provide the link in the card section uh, as I told we have to put the resource in a particular compo compartment uh, we can move the resources most of the resources in OCI uh, from one compartment to another environment there is a restrictions for a few of the uh, resources you can check out this link for that uh, we'll look on how to view these compartments and the usage details we can delete the compartments we can uh, attach the tag to a compartment as well for budgeting purpose and all as i told we can restrict the access to the compartments with the help of these iam policies and there are a few examples uh, provided over here when we write a policy to a particular compartment and if that compartment has been moved from one parent to another parent how the access for a particular group or the user has been uh, is is lost or gained okay you can go to this uh, examples over here uh, let me head over to the oracle uh, cloud infrastructure ui uh, once you land into this uh, home home screen you have to click on this hamburger menu so under this identity and security uh, there is this option for compartments under identity click on this we can create the compartments by clicking on this uh, i will name this as test compartment 01 uh, so we can associate this to the parent as i told we can have a six level deep kind of setup for a compartment over here uh, let me associate this test compartment uh, 01 to this child 001 you can associate a tag over here uh, i'm not uh, tagging this to any of the uh, namespaces over here uh, let me click on the create compartment click on this create compartment okay our compartment has been uh, created uh, let me refresh this screen If you see the uh, sub compartments count over here that is uh, it's the count is one if you see this uh, root compartment uh, it shows the count as two for a root compartment there are uh, two child compartments that is child 001 and uh, a managed compartment for pass uh, if i click on this child 001 uh, i will get the list of uh, the compartments child compartments for this uh, compartment that is child uh, 001 another way to traverse uh, to the compartment is we have to go for this governance and administration and under governance there is this uh, tenancy explorer uh, here also we can uh, uh, check the compartments the root compartment child compartment and uh, their uh, child compartments as well and this basically all the resources associated uh, with the compartment like we have one uh, instance a component instance uh, which has been uh, created in uh, oci learning one two three that is the root compartment and there is a subnet created as well uh, so all those details you can uh, get uh, from this uh, tenancy explorer uh, we can create a, a quota policy as well uh, for a compartment let's learn how to add the quota policies to a particular compartment for example if i want to restrict the compute instances uh, for example i don't want any of the compute instances to be created in a, a test compartment zero one which we have created just now uh, so for that we can create a quota for this Uh, provide the same something like uh, compute uh, zero quota for test compartment uh, zero one uh, and the policy uh, is written in a different way for this not like a iam policy so uh, 
I'm writing as compute zero compute core quota in compartment uh, in compartment test compartment zero one so if you want we can associate uh, these two uh, uh, namespace as well so click on this create quota policy So we have to associate this with the parent of this uh, test compartment 001 that is child 001 colon so let us create the quota policy for this as you can see we have created a quota policy for the compartment test compartment 001 whose parent is child uh, hyphen 001 let's try to create a compute instance in that uh, test compartment and check if we are able to create now it's asking to pick a compartment i uh, will select test compartment 01 Uh, I'm giving as no SSH policy. Uh, this is just for the demo purpose. Uh, as you can see, uh, it shows the message like you cannot create a uh, micro because you have reached the limit because we have set the zero compute core quota policy uh, in the compartment test compartment zero one uh, because of that it's restricting. Uh, like this, we can restrict the access to the uh, compartment and also uh, restrict the access to the resources like a compute instance. We can set the budgeting and all uh, over here by writing the policies. Now, uh, if you don't get the option to create the quota, it, it's because you may not have the uh, appropriate IAM policy created. I'm using the uh, OCI admin uh, user, which we had created in our previous video. So uh, by default, this is this user has is part of the administrator group, so it's having the access to create the quota. Uh, if you don't have the access, uh, you can just go over here uh, to the policies under identity. And you can create a policy to quota read, write, delete in the tenancy if you don't have the access. Okay. Since I have logged in uh, to uh, my using my uh, admin tenancy admin, uh, I am able to do that. Create the policies. Thank you for joining in this video.